Today we're going to dive into the twisted anatomy of the Shadow King, that devil with yellow eyes. Strap yourselves in as we peel back the layers of this entity that is evil enough to shapeshift into an adorable bagel puppy. You heard that right, cute and cuddly one moment, a harbinger of nightmares the next. The Shadow King doesn't stop there when it comes to his chameleon-like appearance. This character can transform into a storybook character, a bulbous monstrosity, and yes, even the fabulous Aubrey Plaza. Just try to wrap your mind around that visual roller coaster in this electrifying video. We're going to dive headfirst into the rabbit hole of the Shadow King's mind-bending abilities. Get ready for a wild ride as we uncover the truth about this shape-shifting, power-sucking entity that has haunted David Holler since day one. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like the content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you, and let's begin. Who is Shadow King? Does Shadow King have a physical body? The Shadow King creature was born from the void of the astral plane, a demon fueled by the essence of negativity. He emerged when the first sleeping mind was struck with a chill of a nightmare. According to lore, this entity is the epitome of darkness, forged from the raw power of hate and fear. The Shadow King's history is a convoluted mess. Thanks to more retcons than a comic book convention, I'm talking a ton of details, multiple timelines, and enough head-scratching moments to make Professor Xavier's bald head jealous. Once upon a time, the Shadow King appeared in a world as a fellow named Amal Farouk. It was under this guise that he first butted heads with Professor Xavier, giving the good professor the inspiration he needed to gather a bunch of misfit mutants and call them the X-Men. In recent appearances, it's been hinted that he's not just your average bad guy. The Shadow King was portrayed as a mutant without a physical form, drifting from one host to another after his original body kicked a bucket. He likes to play mute musical chairs, I guess, but when Amal Farouk came into the scene, things got really interesting. You see, Amal Farouk had a knack for mind control. He could pull the puppet strings of those unfortunate enough to be around him, all while chowing down on the darkness in their souls. Little did D know he was secretly merging with the one and only Shadow King, who had been body hopping since the dawn of humanity. In the 1930s, Shadow King took over the physical form of Amal Farouk, and even after his body was blown to smithereens, he managed to pull a resurrecting act worthy of Houdini and somehow duplicated his physical form, making a grand return in the 1960s and 70s once again in Farouk's body. The Shadow King is like a parasite, always in need of a host, and somewhere in the future, he once possessed the body of a diseased FBI agent and later even heroes like Karma and Storm. There have been many forms of the Shadow King, however, Amal Farouk's physical body was simply his favorite. Shadow King is a telepathic mastermind. Shadow King, a mind-controlling powerhouse, has been dubbed a true Omega telepath. When it comes to telepathic abilities, the Shadow King is in a league of his own. Storm, the weather girl herself, has vouched for his power, claiming that apart from Charles Xavier, he is the mightiest telepath roaming the Earth. That's like saying he's the heavyweight champion of mind manipulation. Shadow King has the ability to take over the minds of even the strongest willed individuals, leaving them clueless about his sinister presence. Just imagine Gentle and Black Panther, two heroes known for their incredible wills completely under his control. That's a psychic mic drop right there. He is also known to have dominated the world by mentally enslaving Professor X in an alternate universe. Further, when he wanted to break free from the clutches of the astral plane, its insidious gaze fixated on physics scattered across the globe. Like a master weaver spinning a web of telepathic power, he began to ensnare these unsuspecting individuals, drawing them into his intricate plan. Shadow King's ability of astral possession and dominion. This guy knows how to possess beings, especially when he's hanging out on the astral plane. Now, the Shadow King isn't satisfied with just telepathically influencing a bunch of individuals. No, no, no. He's got a flair for choosing one lucky host to occupy with his disembodied spirit. It's like an otherworldly Airbnb situation, but that host body becomes his own, like a cozy little home sweet home for his evil spirit. This shadowy demon's powers go beyond just couch surfing in someone else's body. Somehow, he's able to physically repair any damage inflicted on his host. Forget about your run-off-the-mill first aid kit, this guy's got some supernatural healing skills. Now here's the catch. Taking a host might give the Shadow King more power in the physical realm, but it also leaves him vulnerable. If you want to put a dent in his astral form, all you need to do is take out his host. Boom! 
dispersed astral essence. Not just that, but also it could take the Shadow King months or even years to manifest his astral form again. Speaking of the astral plane, it's like the ultimate love-hate relationship for the Shadow King. It's his home and his prison, a realm of thought that he's learned to control and manipulate with finesse. Across the vast expanse of the multiverse, his physical forms have been wiped out more times than you can count. But guess what? He always manages to pop right back into the astral plane like a boomerang. However, in the Avengers vs. the X-Men after Professor Xavier's untimely demise, it was revealed that his psyche had been trapped on the astral plane by the Shadow King. And as if that was enough, he also had the powerful mutant Proteus trapped there for what felt like centuries. Looks like time really flies in the realm of thought. It can control other telepaths. Shadow King is a villain who may lack physical strength but compensates with a mind-boggling psychic expertise. Now don't get me wrong, he's not quite a Charles Xavier's level, but he surely is next to him. In order to make his mark on the physical world, the Shadow King needs a solid toolkit of telepathic and telekinetic abilities. Think of it as his ticket to transcend the astral plane and get things done. Plus, his powers have only grown stronger thanks to his knack for possessing some seriously powerful telepathic mutants. The Shadow King has shown he's got the chops to mentally dominate other high-class telepaths. The cream de crop. We're talking about Marvel Girl and Psylocke. These ladies aren't pushovers when it comes to mental might, but the Shadow King effortlessly plays them like pawns on a telepathic chessboard. Since the Shadow King doesn't have a physical form of his own, he's got a few weaknesses to worry about. In the world of all things psychic, only rival telepaths stand a chance against him. Oh, and let's not forget the magic users, who know a thing or two about dealing with such ethereal matters. Here's the scoop on his physical limitations. In the real world, the Shadow King is relatively restricted in what he can do. Sure, he can take over someone's body using his psychic powers, but he's then bound by the strength and the superpowers of his host. So if he jumps into a non-mutant body like mine, his superpower would probably be sleeping. Can he turn himself into an ancient god? Well, kinda. The notorious Shadow King once pulled off a masterful plan disguising himself as an ancient god to take control of an African tribe that once worshipped Storm as a wetter goddess. An audacious move to lure the X-Men into his nefarious trap during the epic Psywar storyline, but the Shadow King's true goal wasn't just to mess with the X-Men. Oh no, he had his sights set on none other than the powerful Psylocke. He used his manipulative ways to deceive Psylocke into triggering a mind-blowing radical psychic event. This event had a profound impact on every single mind on Earth, sending shockwaves through the very fabric of psionic existence. It gets even wilder. The Shadow King aimed to corrupt and turn Psylocke into his Dark Queen, a pawn in his diabolical game. But our girl Psylocke wasn't about to go down without a fight. She summoned her inner strength and managed to imprison the Shadow King within the confines of her own mindscape. However, victory came at a price. In her valid battle against the Shadow King, Psylocke had to sacrifice her telepathic abilities. It was a heavy blow, but she prevailed, trapping the evil entity within her own mind while bidding farewell to her once mighty telepathy. He can control an entire island? Can he control an entire island, you ask? Well, my dear nerds, let me paint you a picture of his wicked exploits. You see, after a period of laying low and nursing his wounds, after a fierce battle, the Shadow King's influence resurfaced. This time, he took possession of the body of a diseased FBI agent. And he didn't stop there. He had his sights set on even bigger prizes. First, he attempted to kidnap Storm, who had been reverted to her childhood state. But then something caught his attention, something that made his villainous heart pulse faster. David Holler, also known as Legion. This powerful mutant was on the hunt for the missing storm, armed with the telepathy-boosting Cerebro headset, seizing the opportunity to possess yet another superpowered psychic, the villain launched his grand attack. He not only took full control of Weir Island, the home base of X-Men ally Moira McTaggart, but he also continued to manipulate his original host, Amal Farouk, with multiple powerful pawns under his control. The Shadow King came dangerously close to achieving his ultimate goal. In a thrilling twist, Mystique stepped up to the plate and shot Farouk, effectively putting an end to the Shadow King's control. However, this act had unintended consequences, leading to the mental collapse of David Holler himself, resulting in a bittersweet victory. He can create psionic zombies. When the Shadow King attempted to break free from the astral plane, he set his sights on using the telepathic abilities of none other than Psylocke. But the X-Men weren't about to let him have his way. A new team of astonishing X-Men assembled to take on his psychic menace. Psylocke, with her trusty teammates by her side, managed to bring the fight directly to the Shadow King's realm, avoiding what they aptly dubbed 
the Mind Killer Apocalypse. The battle initially seemed to be going well for our beloved X-Men, but hold on tight because the Shadow King wasn't one to be underestimated. In an act of vengeance, the dastardly Shadow King unleashed a psychic infection upon the unsuspecting citizens of London. Like something out of a nightmare, these unfortunate souls transformed into crazed zombie-like creatures. Their every touch capable of passing on this psionic infection. However, our heroic X-Men weren't about to let London fall victim to his reign of terror. They set out to uncover the origins of this psychic infection. Armed with knowledge, they devised a plan to defeat the Shadow King and restore sanity to the infected city. They not only defeated the Shadow King, but also managed to cure London of the psionic infection. So yes, the Shadow King did turn ordinary people into zombies, but not for too long. Can he reproduce? Well, 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 let's dive into the intriguing question of the Shadow King's reproductive abilities. While there may not be any explicit mention of his desires for capabilities in this area, we can certainly speculate based on his dark intentions. You see, the Shadow King is no stranger to manipulation and corruption. In a cunning move, he targeted Rogue, aiming to possess and corrupt her. His devious plan, gaining access to every hero she had connected with through her power absorption abilities. He saw Rogue as a potential Shadow Queen, assuming that her vulnerable mental state would make her an easy target. But oh how the tables turned. Rogue proved to be a serious challenge, rejecting his dark seduction and refusing to succumb to his manipulative ways. Now let's connect the dots. While there's no direct mention of the Shadow King's reproductive desires, we can infer that like any living organism, he may have yearnings for companionship and an heir to his evilness. After all, his desire to name Rogue as his Shadow Queen suggests a longing for a significant utter. Considering the Shadow King's ability to possess anyone, it stands to reason that if he were to find a suitable host who is fertile enough to bear offspring, reproduction could be within the realm of possibility for this shadowy character. So fellas, let your imagination run wild. While the details may remain shrouded in mystery, we can surmise that the Shadow King may harbor human desires beyond his sinister goals. Love, reproduction, and all the complex facets of human existence may very well be part of this villain's story. Is he immortal? Let's begin by dissecting the ethereal realm of the astral plane where the Shadow King resides, a place untouched by the laws of nature where time's relentless grip doesn't hold sway. It's a fascinating concept, for in this realm, beings don't age or decay as they would in our physical world. Now let's indulge in a bit of speculation. Even if we are here to entertain the idea that the Shadow King could age over time, let's not forget his extraordinary ability to leave his current host body and seek out a younger vessel. It's like a never-ending cycle of host hopping allowing him to remain in the prime of his existence, unburdened by the passage of time. Due to his continuously seeking out fresh hosts to occupy, with each new body he sheds the weight of aging, effectively granting himself immortality. Marvelous Verdict In summary, the Shadow King is a fascinating and mysterious entity whose anatomy defies conventional understanding. Existing within the astral plane, he operates beyond the confines of physical form. He navigates the Marvel Universe as a character of immense power, weaving a web of manipulation, control, and psychic domination. The nature of the Shadow King's anatomy adds to his charm as a captivating figure within the Marvel Universe. Well, folks, we hope you enjoyed his anatomical episode as much as we did. You don't discuss every day the anatomy of something that doesn't have an anatomy, right? If you like the content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one. Be safe. Thanks, everyone.